Welcome to Introduction to C Programming. Today we're going to write a program using pointers. It's going to be a pretty easy one just to display the values of the address, uh, the value and the dereference value of pointers and scalar variables. Hopefully this will help you to understand uh, the star and the ampersand characters as they relate to pointers. So go ahead and open up Visual Studio, create a new project. I'm going to name mine Pointers. Win32 console application. application settings, make sure it's an empty project, and then click finish. This should open the solution explorer on the left hand side for you. Right click, add a new item uh, into your source files, and I'm going to name mine pointers.cpp once it comes up. Make sure you select cpp for your type of file, and that'll give us our blank slate to start writing. Any kind of input or output, we need to include standard io.h. We have our main function. Okay, now in here, I'm going to create this. Uh, I'm going to use some float variables, or let's use double variables. Uh, so here's a double variable. I'm going to create a value for it. I'm going to create a double pointer and set that pointer equal to the address of my double variable. I'm going to do a few printfs down here then. First one I'm going to do is going to be for printing out the value of my variable dnum. Which is a long float. Then I'm going to print out uh, the value of the dereference value of dnum pointer. That is also going to be a long float because this should be the same as the value of dnum. Then I'm going to print out the uh, address of dnum. Now this is going to be an integer. All addresses are integers. So I'm going to print that with a percent %d. And then I'm going to print out just the value of dnum pointer. Now this is going to be the address of dnum. So uh, that is also going to be a percent %d. And then the last one I'm going to print out is the address of dnum pointer. This is an address which is going to be an integer, which is percent %d. Now, we don't know what these values are going to be. What we do know is that the first two should be the same, these two should be the same, and this one should be something completely different. That is what we know. Go ahead and compile your program up and then run it. Make sure it's going to compile for us. run it. And if you notice here, the first two are the same, the second two are the same, and the last one is different. So this is what I expected because the address of dnum is the same as what's in dnum pointer, and the dereferenced value of dnum pointer is the same as dnum uh, the address of dnum pointer then is going to be different from any of the other values that we have. So this is all of the different values that we have from those two variables. Um, hopefully this helps you to understand a little bit more. We're going to be using pointers in a number of our future programs, so you'll get some more practice with it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Good luck. Short one.